Hi guys, this is Level Crossing Fan here, and I'm doing an update video on my Western Callan Hayes mechanical bell. So today, just today, I got a new pair of these mini jumper leads here from J Car, which is not far from where I live. So yeah, I got this pair, and I have, we've had this battery pack which was in the garage, but we never had a pair of these mini jumper leads. So now I've used them for my Western Cullen Hayes bell. So the black one is the negative one, and the red one's the positive one. So if I connect the red one just up to here, I need to. And that gets the bell. And that, that gets the bell to operate. So this is very handy. So yeah, I'll show you in the garage right now. This is the car battery I originally used, but yeah, this one was basically heavier than the current one I've got. So yeah, um, and it also was a pain because, as you can see, I have it on charge right now, but it's been on charge for months now, and when I take it off charge, it just beeps constantly, like every five seconds, even though it's been charging. And so yeah, I've ditched that now, and used the mini car battery. Use this battery here now for my Western Callan Hayes bell. So yeah, basically I'm now going to be using this battery pack to take my to, to take my Western Cullen Hayes bell down to crossings. And yeah, also give an overview of this bell as well. Okay, so now to get the so now I'll ring the bell. So just basically to pinch this jump a lead off the positive or negative one and hook it up to there and that, that gets the bell to operate. And there we go. So now I'm going to do one where I adjust the speed on the bell. So I'll zoom in on there. I'll just go get the screwdriver. So then just basically unscrew that and then hook it up. I'll now get a shot of the hammer, or of the piston I mean, which um, hits the, which goes up and down and that operates the hammer, which swings back and forth and hits the gong. There we go. So now I'll do one where I take the gong off and show you the hammer which hits the gong inside, so do that. Okay, so I've taken the gong off now. So here's the inside, that's the hammer there, which hits the gong. And here's the gong itself. So it's quite, it's got rust on the inside, but that doesn't really bother me. And it's got a worn, two worn areas where the gong hits, where the hammer hits the gong. But yeah, they're not too bad really. There's plenty of other spots where you can, where the hammer can hit the gong. So yeah, now I'll do a shot of the hammer swinging back and forth inside, and I'll set off the bell, and you can see the hammer moving inside. So there we go, that's what it looks like. I'll give you an overview of the inside of the Western Cullen Hayes bell. So, this, so, I thought, so when I got this bell, it didn't come with a, a instruction paper, which is normally here. And yeah, here's the inside of the bell. Got the piston, of course. It doesn't ring because I've taken the gong off. And then, yeah, there's the terminal. So that's where the jumper leads are hooked. Many jumper leads are hooked up. And there's all the wiring. There's the base down there. I'm just going to take off those jumper leads and show you the door. There's 
the Western Cullen Hayes logo there. And there's the top, WC1208CA. For those who don't know where, when I got this bell, I got it last year in November. So on the on November 21st I got this bell, so I ordered off eBay in early November and it came from Ohio in the United States of America and cost about $320. So yeah, my mum and I went half with this bell. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this bell. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye!